In this lesson, we will study the time constant of an RC circuit. The circuit shown illustrates an arrangement for charging a capacitor. A capacitor is connected in series with resistor R and a source voltage E. The switch S is open before T0. Therefore, we can assume that there is no voltage across the capacitor before T0. At T0, the switch is closed and the capacitor begins charging. The voltage increases gradually from a zero initial value to a final value E, as indicated in the graph. The shape of the charging curve is an exponential function. The voltage across the capacitor at any given time is given by the equation V is equal to E minus E sub E minus the quantity T divided by R times C. When the capacitor has reached a value of E, the voltage across it becomes the source voltage and the voltage across the resistor becomes zero. No more current flows in the circuit and the capacitor voltage assumes a constant value. A measure of the speed with which the capacitor builds up voltage is termed the time constant and is given by the Greek letter tau. Tau is equal to R times C in seconds. The time constant represents the time taken by the initially uncharged capacitor to reach 63.2% of the value of E. Sometimes a term called rise time is used. The rise time is the time taken by the charging capacitor to go from 10% to 90% of the voltage. The relation between rise time and the time constant is rise time is equal to 2.2 times the time constant. Let's look at an example. A 60 microfarad capacitor is in series with a 7.5 K ohm resistor and a source voltage of 250 volts. Calculate the time constant, rise time, and the energy stored in the capacitor when it is fully charged. Time constant is equal to the resistance times the capacitance, or 7.5 times 10 to the third times 60 times 10 to the minus 12th, which is equal to 4.5 times 10 to the minus 7th seconds. Rise time is equal to 2.2 times resistance times the capacitance, or 9.9 .9 times 10 to the minus 7th seconds. Energy stored when the capacitor is fully charged is shown in the equation W equals 1 half C times E squared, or 1.88 times 10 to the minus 6 joules. Now let's discuss discharging of a capacitor. When the switch is in position 2 in the diagram shown, there is a flow from the charged capacitor which possesses a voltage V. The capacitor thus dissipates the energy stored in it by allowing the energy to be dissipated in the resistor. The stored energy and the voltage across the capacitor decrease as a function of time. Observe the graph depicting the curve indicating percentage of the original voltage versus the exponential time constant. Eventually, the capacitor depletes all its energy and the voltages across the capacitor and resistor diminish to zero. The table now shown depicts the percentage and RC time constant values for growth as well as decay. Let's look at another example. Referring to the previous discharge circuit, let us assume that the circuit has achieved its final steady state conditions. S is now switched to position 2. The steady state values are V equals 60 volts, V sub R minus 60 volts, Q is equal to 3500 picocoulombs, R is equal to 200 K ohms, and C is equal to 60 picofarads. The discharge current is equal to V sub R divided by the resistance R. From the instant of T equals 0, what are the values of V, V sub R, Q and the discharge current at times T0 and T equals 6 microseconds. The time constant is equal to R times C or 200 times 10 to the third times 60 times 10 to the minus 12th or 12 microseconds. At T0, V is equal to 60 volts, V sub R equals minus 60 volts, and Q 3500 picocoulombs. Therefore, the discharge current is equal to minus 60 volts divided by 200 K ohms or 0 0.3 milliamps. At T equals 6 microseconds, the time constant is equal to 0.5. The decay percentage from the table is equal to 60.7%. V sub R is equal to 60.7 divided by 100 times 60 volts, or 36.42 volts. V sub R is therefore minus 36.42 volts. Q is equal to V times C, or 36.42 times 60 picofarads, or 2,185.2 picocoulombs. The discharge current is equal to V sub R divided by the resistance R or 
minus 36.42 volts divided by 200 K ohms which is equal to 0.1821 milliamps.